Well, how are we all doing? It looks like our dear friend, Mr. Mormon Shaggy, has decided once again he's going to throw a complete and total meltdown about yours truly. Because you see, I learned something uh, not that long ago, in fact. I learned that if you really want to piss off Mormon Shaggy, all you got to do is just hop in this fucking YouTube live chat, type in Forge Gang, and wait. Because the moment he sees that you typed out Forge Gang, he's going to be on you like flies on shit. Case in point, what happened to me? Now, since I really cannot take Norman Shaggy's incoherent ramblings for more than five seconds before I get bored and decide to do other things, I decided that as soon as I left my little comment, I decided I was going to fuck off for a bit. And I decided to come back to see how Shaggy was and well, the exact moment I clicked on Shaggy's stream, the first thing he started to do was just to ramble on about yours truly. So I figured, you know what, if Shaggy here wants to talk some shit, you better believe I'm going to fucking clap back. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, depreciating? I don't know. Uh, fucking, uh, what, what was the other? Oh, Alistair. Alistair Mycroft. Now, he's of the same fucking breed as Dunn. Same fucking... Okay, you hear that? I'm the same breed as Brian Dunn. Mr. King of Pole. You know, I had already stated that Ear Juice is a massive idiot for not taking the joke I made with Ghost of Niccolo the other day in his Discord server seriously. But I think Gear Juice might be onto something here. He might be onto something that, frankly, I don't even know. I think Mormon Shaggy here might be onto something that even I didn't know. I might just be the next Brian Dunn. I might just be the next fucking King of Pole. So you better watch out, Ghost of Niccolo. Otherwise, uh, you know, I might just roll over to your DMs one day and uh, ask you for your outline there, big boy. Anyway... Breed. Um, he's hyper autistic. Okay. And I can literally uh, pick. Now, what I want to show you the first thing, if you don't know much about this guy, uh, first thing you should know is what I've learned from doing a little background research. Uh, and by doing a little uh, quote-unquote background research on me, uh, what he really means is pulling shit out of his fucking ass and just rolling with it. Now, the guy was connected to a dude called Mersh. Got okay, so, um... According to Mormon Shaggy, I am not only a Satanist... But a time traveler. I'm also connected to Mersh from Nightwave Radio. Which in case you don't know or may have forgotten who Mersh is. Basically he's a guy that said if he ever catches you in his chat. And he also catches you donating to Mr. Medicare, You're going to be put on a list. Oh and Porcelain made a two part hours long documentary series about him. So, yeah, that's the Mersh guy that Mormon Shaggy is talking about, and I'm apparently connected with him. Let's continue. Uh, is a Satanist. Oh, yep. As I said, you know, Mormon Shaggy literally thinks I'm a Satanist, even though there is no evidence whatsoever to say that I am indeed a Satanist. You know? Um, considers himself to be a Satanic priest. Uh, huge fan of, Elist of Aleister Crowley. Okay, so you heard that now. I'm not I'm not just your regular run of the mill Satanist, okay? I'm not your Satanist who has a nine to five job Monday through Friday and sacrifices goats on the weekends. Oh no 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 no. I'm a bit more special than that. I guess you see I'm a satanic priest. 
Now, you know, maybe it's just me. Then again, this is the satanic priest talking here. But Satanist and a priest, those are not words that normally should go together. But again, I am a satanic priest, according to Mormon Shaggy. I am obviously coping here. It's totally not like the idea of a satanic priest is the stupidest thing that has ever been uttered in the history of the human l language, but hey, you know, Mormon Shaggy really has his big brain here. Really is finding out juicy information about myself that I frankly didn't even know about. That's the name. Uh, he, he, he literally dresses like the Batman villain, the Penguin. Okay, um, so I am a time traveler, according to the Mormon Shaggy. Um, I am a satanic priest. I am very, very cozy with Mersh from Nightwave Radio. And I cosplay as the Penguin from Batman 24-7. Again, he is finding out shit about me that I didn't even know about myself, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm talking top hats, you know, Victorian dress, he, he, he um... Like, he spends all of his money on the most, uh, fucking, uh, high-end goth shit. And, and when I say his money, I mean his parents' money. This guy's... Okay, so, uh, aside from the fact that I'm constantly wearing tuxedos every day, uh, I also like to blow the large allowance I get from my parents... On a Hot Topic merch. Like, I literally have fucking Tupperware bins. Just just filled with My Chemical Romance t-shirts. And Nirvana. But fr frankly, I don't even know what to do with them. I literally don't even know what to do with all of this Nirvana and My Chemical Romance and... Uh, blood on the dance floor t-shirts that I just so ha happen to have and all this other merch that I've gotten from Hot Topic over the years. You know, you wouldn't know, but I'm the biggest fucking goth emo boy around. <laughs> Never hold, held down a fucking job so far as I've heard it. I mean, what's the point of me holding out, holding on to a job when I could spend my days in the mall Buying out all the shit from Hot Topic. I mean, you heard Mormon Shaggy. I am a pre I am very much into the whole goth, you know, sphere of things. Uh, but you know, uh, much like Brian Dunn, uh, he thinks his time as a wall cow qualifies him to be a wrangler. Now, I don't really have. Okay, now, I don't know where Shaggy is getting at this idea that because I am a locale that is now reformed, I am automatically worthy enough of being a retard wrangler. Uh, I mean, I will say this. Compared to people like Mormon Shaggy there and DJ Axel, the pedophile who literally caused the man to die for his own amusement... Yeah, I'm a way better than these fucking guys. So I think I am qualified to be your, uh, card wrangler, at least shaggy. Any brilliant posts from him, but every th I've never even seen this video. It's just everything he makes is, uh... That's because this video was just the latest video I uploaded, except for this one. You know, maybe if you had subscribed to the fucking channel, you would find that out. But then again, this is the same guy who legitimately thinks I have no job. And I literally spend time every day at Hot Topic just buying out new My Chemical Romance t-shirts. So, um, you know, done in this. It sounds like like he's, um, you know, an amateur actor. In a, in a YouTube 
uh, production of Dick Tracy. Like, if a bunch of... Okay, 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 okay. So, according to the Mormon Shaggy, I am a time traveler. I'm a satanic priest. I'm very good friends with Mersh. Uh, I cosplay as the penguin from Batman almost every day. And when I'm not cosplaying as the penguin from Batman, I'm also a huge golf nerd. And, you know, I'm constantly spending my parents' money on Hot Topic merch. And I've never held down a job. And aside from all that, in my spare time, I'm also trying to be a... Uh, an actor in a Dick Tracy fanfic? A fanfic movie? So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm quite a busy little bee, if you haven't noticed there. It amazes me how I get any sleep at all, honestly. I mean, it's amazing that Mormon Shaggy is still finding out things about me that, frankly, even I didn't know about myself. Dick Tracy fans tried to make like, you know, those Star Wars movies, those Star Trek fan films, right? It's like if someone was trying to be a noir detective, you know, and you can tell this guy has a fedora, and yes, he tips at Milady. Um, there's. You know, Shaggy, if you'll be a good little boy, I might just tip my fedora to you. Just that. And it, it's just. Like, the stench of it is like the stench of a fucking outhouse in the dead of, the dead of summer. Um, it, it... Sure that outhouse smell? You sure you want to compare that outhouse smell to me and not to you and your fucking little trailer that you're living in ever since you lost your job because you're a psychopath? Sure you want to make that analogy there, buddy? It's fucking... It hits you like a fucking truck... Uh, just, just have a listen. Oh, you know, this guy likes to claim he's a genius, likes to claim he's a lot smarter than a lot of people, myself included. Okay, I've never claimed to be a fucking genius, and I've never claimed to be smarter than anyone. But, I am willing to make the exception for you, since, let's be real here... You are a gigantic fucking idiot. And you're coming up with the just most ridiculous things about me that I've ever heard. You're calling me a satanic priest. You're saying that I'm good friends with Mersh. You're saying that I cosplay as the Penguin 24-7. <laughs> and a bunch of other wacky, goofy shit. Which, let's be real here, only a real idiot or a real nut job would come up with. So, yeah, even though I don't like to claim I am the smartest man around, I am willing to make that exception with you there, Shaggy. So, great job there, stupid. He's gone at me, which is why you're getting this shit. Um, I go at you because you're a mentally unhinged locale. And frankly, if I don't start mocking you now... I'm going to miss out on such a golden opportunity to point and laugh at you when you inevitably shoot up a school. So he has, uh, he has not evolved beyond, uh, the, the, um, you know, the black screen phase of his, his production. Well, the reason why I haven't evolved from the black screen phase of my YouTube videos is because, as I've stated on more than one occasion, I am completely and totally lazy, and I refuse to put any effort into my YouTube videos unless the video in question is very, very important, or I desperately want your money. And seeing as how I have stated on numerous occasions that I would rather work at Wendy's for the next 53 years than make money on the internet... Sorry, Shaggy, the black screen's here to stay. He's still where I was, like, two years ago, or a year ago, something like that, where he just fucking, he can't be bothered to hold up the phone, so he just lays it down flat and talks to it. So this is basically just pure... Yes, because it's real easy for a guy who does not want to put any effort whatsoever into making YouTube videos. Shocking revelation, I know. Her audio. He doesn't even have a picture for his vid. Just learn to OBS. Yes, because again, that will require me putting an effort into this. 
And unless the video in question is very, very important to me, or I desperately want your fucking money, the black screen is here to stay. Because until I say otherwise, I'm going to continue to use the black screen because I am lazy. It's retard. Learn OBS, retard. <laughs> Why would I learn OBS when I can just as easily get an OBS slave? I mean, that's what fucking PBP does to fucking Worski. That's what he did to fucking Kraut. And for God's sakes, that's what he did to fucking Brian Dunn. Why should I learn how to do something when I can just get some bitch to do it for me? See, history does not re I mean, according to this warm and shaggy, I have plenty of money left over from my parents, so I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be ha hard for me to hire an OBS sleeve. If I am, of course, naturally feeling all so generous as to give them some of my money, that is. Keaton self. Seriously, it, how the fuck is it? How the fuck is it that we can do this? Like, this is Mormon shaggy. <laughs> Watch this. And not that one. See, I'm pretty stupid, right? I'm well, it's nice to know that you're honest with yourself, shaggy. And hey, at least we can finally come to a basic under... At least we can finally agree on something. You are a gigantic fucking idiot. Make a lot of fucking errors. How the fuck are you going to be so stupid that you're dumber than Mormon Shaggy? You're telling me you can't tell, you can't figure out how to do that? You can't figure out how to do this, Alistair? <laughs> For shame. But it rhymes. For shame. How dare Alistair Mycroft be lazy? How dare Alistair Mycroft not want to put any goddamn effort into making YouTube videos whatsoever? For shame. For shame. I mean, the 146 subscribers to this channel say otherwise, you know, but hey. They say history does not repeat itself, but it rhymes. And when you've been on this little sphere of the internet for as long as I have... Those words really do hold some truth. Case in point, the Kino Casino. Now, what I want you to notice is a what you're hearing is another uh, uh, another Puritanus, another Peter Pan. Uh, now, what I want you all to listen to right now. Well, this Alistair Minecraft video that I am playing right now is that this is clearly uh, an evidence of uh, Peter Pan syndrome. Okay, let's see where this fucking train goes. This is a guy who does not know what it's like to be an adult. So, he... Um, this is a guy who doesn't know what it's like to grow up. So, what he just likes to do is he's going to make fucking YouTube videos uh, pointing and laughing at gigantic fucking idiots uh, such as myself. He um, mimics the way adults talk on TV. He's never had a job. He's never gotten... See, now, because Alistair Mycroft has Peter Pan syndrome, he is literally um, incapable of learning how, what it means to be an adult. So he literally mimics the people he sees on TV and pretends to be them. You know, take it from me, Mormon Chaggy. The guy whose voice literally sounds like he hasn't had puberty yet. Now take it from me. <laughs> he never passed the, the trials that you need to pass to really enter adulthood. So he's... Um, what kind of Lord of the Rings-esque style trials do I have to fucking go through to be an adult? <laughs> what, what fucking trials do I have to go through to be an adult? I mean, I... Made it to my 20th birthday. I know I definitely passed that. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, 
I graduated high school. What, what sort of other trials do I need to go through in order for me to be a full adult there, Shaggy? Duck in a state of eternal, um, eternal adolescence. You know, he was. Uh, you see here, Alistair Mycroft is not a fucking adult because Alistair Mycroft still has to, uh, still go through the fantasy, uh, uh, trials in order for him to become adult. Now, uh, I know what the trials are exactly because, you know, I went through them. You know, Mormon Shaggy, uh, the man whose voice literally sounds like he hasn't hit puberty yet. Uh, he knows what it's like to be an adult, uh, not Alex Mycroft. And so, because of that, I have every right to criticize Alistair Mycroft for not being an adult, because Alistair Mycroft did not go on his little fantasy quest to become a big boy. Probably really, really clever, probably the smart kid uh, in class when he was 13. The truth of the matter is, girl... And let me guess, when you were 13, you were the fucking guy that was constantly getting wedgies and swirlies. Or, you know, you were the fucking psychopath who was very, very excited to dissect a fucking frog in biology class. Those really do hold the key to a man's future. You cannot progress until you really get permission from a woman's vagina. Um... Okay, so, to be a man, I have to put my penis inside a woman's vagina. Okay, then, uh, what about the people that want to save themselves up for marriage? Are they not real men? Are they teenagers just like me, apparently? And... And, uh, what makes you think I haven't had inter sexual encounters with a woman already? You know, you say that you have this evidence that I'm a, satan a satanic priest, I'm a, I'm a time traveler. Uh, I apparently have billions upon billions about billions of dollars from my parents. So you apparently know all this information, and yet you don't know whether or not I've had the chance to touch a booby or not. So... You know, uh... No, I don't. Always be grateful. Always be fucking grateful to the woman who initiated you into that. Because... Yes, always be... Grateful to the woman that took away your virginity. Even if she raped you when you were a child, you should still be grateful nonetheless. Uh, for a woman, your virginity is, is valuable for a certain amount of time. But for a man, once, once he's about 16, it's just a clock that he needs to stop by any means necessary. So... According to the Mormon Shaggy, you can only be a virgin for such a amount, certain amount of time before something bad happens. And if you don't lose it at 16, your life is fucking over. Something tells me Mormon Shaggy has some issues with age of consent laws. Maybe it's just me, but I think with such a statement such as that, I think Mormon Shaggy might have an issue or two with age of consent laws. Then again, he is friends with DJ Axel, so... Yeah. Uh, for the sake of his honor. But if you don't stop that clock, if you never manage to make it to the end of that, that fucking lap, uh, if you're just too slow or too tired, you know, the clock just keeps ticking. Shaggy, have you ever come to the realization that perhaps there is just more important things for a man to worry about, especially in his teenage years, than just sex? Have you ever considered that? 
that there's more to life than just sticking your dick inside some thought? Have you ever considered that, you massive fucking pervert? You massive fucking coomer, you? Have you ever considered that? Well, then again, if he did, he wouldn't be the fucking lonely, mentally ill Mormon that he is today, so... Ticking away along with your life. And now we have this 38, 30-something-year-old virgin, uh, which is... Okay, um... How does Mormon Shaggy apparently know that I'm 38? How does it how does he know that I'm apparently 38 years old? Last time I checked, I'm not 38. I'm not even 28 yet. I got a long ways to go before I'm 38. So I don't know how the hell Mormon Shaggy came up with uh this idea that I'm 38 years old, but once again, much like with every other idea or theory about me. He just pulled this out of his ass. <laughs> Honestly, better. I've heard Brian Dunn has kids, and that's fucking horrific. That said, Brian Dunn lies about almost... Yeah, so horrific that Brian Dunn, Mr. King of Pole, decided he was gonna settle down and have a family. How, how very terrifying. Everything. Uh, Brian Dunn believes almost everything. Brian Dunn currently believes that Shaylin is going to have sex with him. But Maybe Shaylin will have sex with him. I, I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I think it goes without saying already that this has not been a very good week for Mr. PPP. Oh, no, no, no. Quite the contrary, in fact. His old business partner and little internet friend Godwinson turned... Pull down his pants, take a massive shit all over PPP. PPP is me, responsible to have a complete and total mental breakdown, how to do a complete and total 180. Just go full mask off. I think we've heard enough. Like, but yeah, I think we heard enough. I fucking rambled on enough about how Alistair Bycroft's 38 years old and how if you don't lose your virginity at 16, you're fucking worthless and other shit. I think we've had enough. He will sit there smoking his cigars in his top hat, <laughs> like bloviating, just fucking bloviating, literally living his life, LARPing as the fucking penguin. So we've. So according to Mormon Shaggy, as we speak right now, I am sitting in a fine leather chair, smoking the finest of cigars while wearing my finest of tuxedos. And while I'm doing that, I'm also pointing and laughing at retards on the internet. Oh, how I fucking wish my life was like that. I'd be in goddamn heaven. Got, um... Oh, and you know this guy's got a history uh, on the internet that trails all over the map of retardation. All over the map of... All over the map of retardation. I got a fucking history. <laughs> all over the history of the internet. All across the map of retardation. Chris Chan ain't got nothing on yours fucking truly. Mr. Alistair Mycroft, the satanic priest who sits in fine leathery chairs, wears tuxedos and smokes cigars and points and laughs at fucking lunatics like Mormon Shaggy here. <laughs> Stupid, wrong, bad decisions no functioning mind w would commit to. <laughs> and, you know, I, I get why Diogenes has that act. He, he does that little performance, as he puts it. It's because it's funny. These people are legitimate clowns. These people are natural fools. So are you. And that's why you are vastly becoming my favorite fucking locale. <laughs> I'm sorry, Springcasters. I'm sorry, Owen Nelson. I'm sorry, KNKJ. I'm sorry, 
Lightning Enterprises, I'm sorry, but leaves the Romanian man, baby. You guys have been on the top of my list for fucking years, but I think it's high time that fucking gold medal, that numero uno, number one fucking retard, goes to a new man, or goes to a new spurg. That man's name's Mormon Shaggy. I'm sorry, guys. It's nothing personal, you know. This is just how life is, you know. So congratulations, Mormon Shaggy. You have officially become my favorite locale to point and laugh at on the internet now. Great job, stupid. Um, and, and that's <laughs> something you need to understand. The difference between... Uh, no, you don't need to understand that. There's no point in me explaining that. Fuck that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Leo! Leo Pirate! Um, what? You know... Uh, Leo Pirate, you're going to have to wait because I actually do have something I want to talk to you about first. You're just that fucking irrelevant. Uh, grossly offensive. Okay, so you heard the man. Leo Pirate is irrelevant, but yours truly is not. Just undeniable proof that once again, that it's really not that hard to get Mormon Shaggy to start fuming. Start screeching into the void. It's real fucking easy. And boy, oh boy, do I look forward to keep pissing off this gigantic fucking psychopath. But you know what? This is where I'm going to end this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video where we once again go over Mormon Shaggy's incoherent ramblings. Stay tuned for that.